you, yeah. So it's uh, putting on my interview hat for a change. You know, back to school. That's why we're doing uh, the Fox 61 School Squad. And we're going to talk about kids and their eyes in terms that it's a lot more than just whether or not that you should be putting your kids in glasses if they need them. We're going to talk about something called digital eye strain, which is not just for the kids. I think it affects mm -hmm. everybody. Dr. Laura Deke is a uh, Deke, excuse me, uh, is with us. She's with uh, my eye. DR or my yeah, eye doctor, doctor, of course, makes sense. Uh, good talk about this. And good morning to you. Nice to have you here. Good to meet Let's you. Let's talk about digital eye strain for those of you who don't know what it is, although I'm sure you could pretty much figure out from the definition what are we talking about. You could here? figure out what digital eye strain is. Yeah. Digital eye strain is the discomfort that people feel mm -hmm. um, after spending a number of, you know, a few hours or even less um, on their computer. Which everyone is doing Which, in the last couple of years since we all had to go, you know, digital, virtual in the, in the, the pandemic. Uh, but this is a problem now, not just for adults who are, who are just spending time in front of the computers. We are, we are finding more eye strain in children than we ever did before. Mm -hmm. um, I just read a study that said that it just since 2019, mm -hmm. um, people are spending 17, per, children are spending 17% more time on their screens. Oh, I absolutely believe it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, between seven and nine hours is estimated. And since we're not going to go back into the Neanderthalic no. way of using pens and paper, although I wish we would, <laughs> what can we do uh, aside from, you know, what are the first steps? Well, what should we be looking for to know that maybe your child is having some trouble? Well, the first steps are knowing that this isn't necessarily normal. Right. You know, that there are some behavior modifications we do. We call mm -hmm. it visual hygiene. Right. And it's the exact same things for both kids and adults. There You're you, absolutely right. There you go. You have yeah. some glasses here mm -hmm. that are that are all kid friendly, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, if you, the, 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 obviously rule number one, if you see this, go get an eye exam. This is the time to do it. This is the time to do it. We actually like to see all children at the very beginning of the school year. Right. So vision is is estimated at 80% or mm -hmm. learning is 80% visual. Right. And so unless you start out with good number one visual acuity, which mm -hmm. is your ability to see things, but right. visual function, how do the eyes work together looking at what you need to do? Just like everything else, do it now. Don't wait until there's a really wait problem until you in the know middle of the school year. Right. We just showed those glasses on the air. Let's put them on again because what, what are we looking for when we want to get good glasses? Well, with good eyeglasses for a kid is a pair that the kid picks out. Right. You know, and so, I mean, it's always fun to have the kid come to me and say, Dr. Dake, look what I, you know, look at uh, my glasses. Right. It's very exciting. Uh -huh. I remember my first pair. You want them a little more durable. Well, they want to the be kids. durable, they want to be affordable, and uh -huh. they want to be fashionable. Right. I love the affordable because if I, if I know kids like my kids, we're going to lose about 12 pairs of them, uh, right? Well, hopefully I don't lose them. <laughs> you know? And I always keep them in a safe place. That's uh -huh. why we brought some cases also. Of course. Um, a lot of the frames now have flexible uh -huh. materials. Mm -hmm. They have hinges that, that have springs in them. They're, they're, and they're Friendly. They're kid friendly. One more thing about the digital eye strain because I think I think this is very interesting and it is a growing problem. What can you do at home? To, to maybe fend it off a little bit. Well, what you need to do, visual hygiene means, um, we have a rule, we say 20, 20, 20. Mm -hmm. And the kids will remember this year. Right. They come back to me and I said, what did I tell you? 20, 20, 20. Mm -hmm. So every 20 minutes, you need a 20 second break from that screen uh -huh. looking 20 feet away. And for adults, and this works for kids too, because you blink less when you're on a screen, when right. you're reading, it makes right. your eyes drier. So I, I add another 20. I said blink 20 times. There you go. That's so every 20 seconds. 20, 20, 20. That's, you only need 20 seconds to, to recover. Well, I mean, Probably a little more. the right. other thing that's important that we're finding mm -hmm. is that the time outside mm -hmm. is the most visually relaxing you can do because inside, all these walls are too close to us. That's when you go outside, you're not only looking and 20 feet away. You don't think about it, but no. that's what you're, you're nearsighted and outside. Outside of this, right? So, good, good tips. You Where can, can we tell them what a good day yeah, to play outside is when That's the rain right. Is I'll, I'll work on that. <laughs> uh, what's a good place to find an eye doctor if you don't have one? Tell me quickly. If you don't have an eye doctor, the Connecticut Association has cteyes.org, and, and there's a search engine by they can do languages spoken insurance and we will link that to you on our fox61.com website dr dick nice to see you very nice good, to meet you good tips we appreciate you as we continue school squad week all right let's go back to the uh let's go back to the other side of the uh studio way on the other side of the building symphony standing by